Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about gel polish mistakes that you may be making or just reasons why your gel polish doesn't last long. So I hope this helps you guys out and let's get right into it. So the first thing, you're applying your coats way too thick. And I know this is tempting to do because it makes the process faster, but you really want to make sure you're working in thin coats so that it doesn't just pop off and also so that it cures properly. Which leads me to my next mistake. You may not be curing your nails long enough so with gel polish it does vary on how long you need to have it under the lamp and personally if I don't know I'll just cure it for a second time just to be sure but that's another reason why you don't want thick layers because as you can see right here even though I did cure it for the right amount of time there's still wet gel in between each layer so definitely something to look for if you don't know just cure it again the next mistake may be your lamp. So with lamps, sometimes they're just not strong enough or they go with a specific brand. That's why I really like using this one. This is the Kiera Sky Professional Lamp and I can use this with any brand. That's why I like it so much. And it doesn't have to be this one, just a good quality lamp. So I'll have a few options down below for you guys. The next mistake, which I think is the biggest, is improper nail prep. So you really need to be removing or pushing back your cuticles so that your gel polish doesn't lift. You want to make sure you're removing the shine from your nail and roughing up the surface a little bit so that the product has something to adhere to. And then you also want to make sure you get rid of any moisture that may be on the nails. So whether that's a dehydrator, primer, rubbing alcohol, acetone, just something to get those oils off. And then after you do your nail prep, don't go using soaps, lotions, or even touching your nails because you're going to put those oils right back on your nail plate. The next mistake may not even be you, but honestly it could just be the brand. And I haven't tried a ton of gel brands, but these are just a few that I like. And you really just have to test it out. If you feel like you're doing everything right, but it's still chipping really fast, then switch over, try another brand, and just see if that helps. Another mistake you may be making is skipping your base coat. And this may be obvious, but I've definitely tried it before. So unless it is a one-step gel that doesn't require a base coat, make sure you apply your base coat. Don't skip this. The next mistake you may be making is not capping the tip. And this is when you take the brush and you just slide it along the free edge of your nail. And I typically do this for the last coat of color and the top coat because on the other side of this, you also don't wanna overdo this. So I wouldn't do it for every single layer because sometimes it can get almost too heavy at the tip of your nail and then chip more. So it really is a balance kind of thing, but make sure you do this for at least one to two layers. The next mistake is getting gel polish on your skin or cuticle area. One, this is gonna burn when you put it under the lamp, but also when it does eventually kind of peel off your skin because it's not meant for that, it may also cause your gel polish to lift with it. So just make sure you're cleaning it up with a cleanup brush before you put it under the lamp. So those are just a few mistakes that you may be making. I probably didn't cover them all, but these are things that I have personally done. So if you have any more, feel free to comment them down below. Again, I hope this helped you guys out and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.